Let me try restrain this rabbit a little bit. <laughs> I hope this thing will not. Why are you shaking like this? Wow. So, guys, subscribe so that I will give you. Hey, thank you. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, if this is your first time watching, subscribe, hit the bell icon so that you'll be the first to know each time I drop new videos. I'm sure you watched my previous video and in that video, we promised that we'll go into the farm and we'll be answering all your questions about rabbit farming. So, watch this video and we'll have all your questions answered. Let's go guys. We are at the farm and we'll be going inside to bring out the rabbit so you can see exactly what the, what the rabbit looks like. So let's go to the farm guys. Let's go. Where is the rabbit? Okay, see, 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 see the rabbit here. Wow. Hey, just one out. Yes. Run of the rabbit. Yes. Let's. Uh. So guys, we have gotten the rabbit, and this is a rabbit that we'll be using for example today. So what breed of rabbit is this? Yeah, this titila. Wow. Titila breed. Eee, what? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not running away. No, no, no. Okay, so guys, we'll be answering all, all your questions in this video, and let us. Um, guess all the questions that was asked in that video. Okay, so how do you restrain rabbits? Like, when you want to carry it, how do you restrain it? Yeah, you want to carry it, you, you hold it on the ear. Okay, just, just the ears? Yeah, you hold it like this. Again, some people hold rabbits this way. But the best method is you have to use your second hand to, to back it up like this. Okay. This way it will wow. And it will be very easy for the rabbit to stay comfortable. So Easy. one of the questions that um, one of the viewers asked was that how do we get buyers for the rabbit? Like when he, when he wants to start the business, how does he get buyers? Buyers, yeah, you can, you can get buyers as you does like advertise, like you okay. advertise what you are breeding, okay. what you want to say. And also you can go to market, all these local market. They do buy bush meat and go. They can also you can also buy from there okay. and you can sell also there. Okay. So if you want to start now, where can you buy from? Yeah, you can buy from fellow breeders, people okay. that are breeding around. Or you can also order it from any, any rabbit farm okay. in other states. Okay. And also you can get it from market, you can buy from market. But right. I'm, it's not advisable for you to buy rabbit from market because doesn't know you don't know the history Ooh, of the it. rabbit yeah you must know the history of the rabbit that's the number one thing okay okay so what are those things that one should look out for when he wants to buy a rabbit yes what you can look out for first is you check the history of the rabbit okay the history of the rabbit consists of knowing the mother like how many offspring the mother gave birth to yeah, like now, the mother of this particular one I'm holding give birth more than 10. Wow. But now, the first set of this rabbit give birth to 9. Okay. I will say how the quality, but yeah. because the history determines a lot, so you will know how many offspring would that rabbit you bought from anywhere. How many offspring will it give birth to? Mm. Yeah, that determines, because the higher the production, the higher the Money, money. So is this is this an exotic breed or local breed? It is not an exotic breed. This is a mixed breed. Okay, a, a mixed breed. Yeah, mixed well, breed. Yeah. So yeah. how do we, so how do you differentiate a mixed breed from an exotic breed and other things? Yeah, the different it's just the size. It's the size. Why this one was mixed? Just maybe because of the availability of the male around. Mm. The male might be foreign. Why the the Female might be local. Local. Yeah, once they are cross, 
can give birth to mixed. Mixed. Oh. Yeah. So once the once the male and female are crossed, yeah. the offspring is usually a mixed breed, yes. right? Wow. So what male type of feed? Male and female, different okay. breed. Okay. 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 So what type of feed do you feed these rabbits? Yeah, there's formulated feed for rabbits. Okay. You can get it easily at market. Okay. Yeah, you can get it easily in the market, and also they they eat grass. Oh, like, yeah. what what type of grass do they eat? Yeah, they eat, uh, like now purple leaf. Purple leaf. Yeah, okay. all these waste products in kitchen, like kitchen waste. Okay. Yeah, you can give rabbit kitchen waste, oh. like rice, beans, all those kind of. Well, they do eat it, but it's not good to give them too much. And also other grasses like the grass they give good, all these green grass, mm. elephant grass. Yeah, they can also eat them. And they're okay. okay sure. There's also sunflower also. Okay. Oh. There are many f grasses you can give rabbits. rabbits. Yeah. Oh. So grass. someone someone asked that is the foreign breed edible? That can you eat the foreign breed of, of foreign breed is edible because I said all rabbits are edible. edible. Okay. Yes. But the only advantage is the rabbit. The foreign breed okay. is big in size okay. and have more meat yes. for consumption. Oh. Yeah, they can have like if they can kill it, if you kill it, they have like less than twenty-five pieces mm -hmm. more than. But if it's local, you have like maybe ten or fifteen pieces of meat. Wow. Yeah, so, so when your rabbit is sick, like how do you know? Yeah, you can know because as a breeder, you must be close to your pet, to your animals to see because any little change, mm. you can easily notified that like, oh this rabbit is not active as before again mm. or oh, another thing is loss of appetite assuming you introduce feed to it and it's not eating you know that oh it's an abnormal sign mm. another sign is diarrhea oh like stooling. yeah stooling yeah stooling like you what trees to mm. can also make them not to be active you observe that and another other signs is the rabbit will, will be lean once you see that your rabbit is not having weight, it's not having weight. Yeah, yeah, it's not having weight. That's another sign. That is a major sign. Wow. Why is the rabbit so shaky and so scared? No, actually, it's like the rabbit just needs to be comfortable. It's okay. Not, it's, okay, it's not comfortable. Yeah, okay. it's not comfortable. Wow. Like this. Just with it. So. so when you when you notice that your rabbit is sick, what are you supposed to do? Yeah, what you know your rabbit is sick. The best method is to call your pet. Okay. Because I can't say anything drugs. Yeah. yeah, I can't prescribe any drugs. Okay. Yeah. The best method is call your vet doctor around or you call a vet student mm -hmm. that you know. There will surely be a vet around or a vet student around. That's the best. Okay, so how do you check the temperature of this rabbit? rabbit. What what you can do to check the temperature of rabbit without thermometer. Okay. <laughs> Why is it rabbit? <laughs> The temperature of the rabbit is like this. You just like put your hand like this, put it in between the ear, like oh. this. Yeah, you will see like this. you see that the ear now is like this. You just carry your hand. Mm -hmm. You just put it in between your two, these two hands like this, yeah. put it in between the ear. Yeah. The yeah. You feel that the temperature now, present the temperature is high. Oh. It, it's hot because we're in the afternoon. Okay. Understand it's hot, but at night, if we can do the same thing, you see that it's cold, it's cold. Mm. That is in short cuts wow. to check temperature. Of the so, without the thermometer, you can actually just check the temperature by placing your hand in the, yeah. in the ears of the rabbit. I can feel it's very hot. Yeah, it's very hot. Oh my god, that is the simple way to check yeah, the temperature. Simple, yeah. So, are there predators that attack rabbits? Yes, yes, there are predators like snake wow. and dog. That is the most common. Predictors. So snake can eat this thing that is big like this. <laughs> snake can eat it. You just kill it and, and dog also. Wow. Dog must not just catch this big one. So the dog, dog will. Yeah, the dog will eat it like. <laughs> will eat it, yeah. So how do you prevent your rabbit from all those kind of snakes and dogs and all those things? Yeah, the major thing is that the rabbit should always be in the cage. Okay. You don't allow rabbit to just come outside from the cage anytime because the dog might be monitoring mm. the rabbit movement one day and one day once it escapes. Once the rabbit escapes, the yes, dog will yes, just catch it. And at the, from snake, you try to like cut the grasses around um. your farm. You can see this place now, there's no grasses Grass around, around this yeah. place. That's around the farm. Yeah, you prevent grasses or bush to say. Mm. 
and your fundamental. Okay, so the final question, what advice do you have for young people who are starting their rabbit farm out there? Yes, the advice, the only advice I can say is, as a beginner or as a starter, you just need to aim big. Okay. Because once you buy a female rabbit, your aim is how my female rabbit will produce for me to aim more. Understand? The only advice is you keep pushing, you keep hustling. Yeah, and you keep learning more information about the rabbits. Yes, the higher the production, the higher the income. I mean, the higher the money. Right. So the more rabbits you have, the more money you have to make. So guys, I hope I've answered all your questions. If you still have questions and you want to know more about this, you can reach out to the WhatsApp number in the description and he promises that he will answer all your questions. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me try restrain these rabbits a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope this will not. Why are you shaking like this? <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. So, guys, subscribe so that I'm like, yeah. <laughs>